I'm Matt Willis, Marin County Public Health Officer with the COVID-19 message for September 16th. We're starting to have some breathing room to step back and take stock of our pandemic response. As part of that, next week, we've been invited to share how we achieved such high vaccination rates across all Marin communities with the National, Nax, National Vaccine Advisory Committee in DC. Because it's really been a community-wide effort, I thought I'd share with you, our community, how we're summarizing what we learned. Luckily, we have a method we developed to achieving vaccine equity that we can describe, which might be applied to places with greater barriers to vaccine. So that's our first message, is that if we're, if we're reaching for vaccine equity, it requires intentionality and a plan or a method for achieving it. We obviously have a long way to go in Marin, but there are things we learned that we can teach. Our model was pretty simple, and it was built on this reality. We know that as a government public health agency, we have subject matter expertise in the problems we're trying to solve, like respiratory viruses, and the tools like vaccines, and we have some resources. Trusted community leaders and community-based organizations have subject matter expertise in the real world where these things land. And we know, they know, what might work and what won't work. And so the most effective public health practice marries those two necessary elements, or those two forms of expertise. So here's the structure we established. We formed a vaccine community advisory board under my boss, the Director of Health and Human Services, Benita McLaren, to get representational input from people living in our most hard hit communities. Out of that grew four COVID-19 community response teams, or CRTs, in four communities that had been most disproportionately impacted. That's Novato, San Rafael, Marin City, and West Marin. Our CRTs are essentially community coalitions with community level leadership supported by public health. These have become invaluable network of trusted community partners for both building confidence in and removing barriers to vaccine for our most vulnerable families. To visualize the role of the CRTs, it's easiest to start with real people living in Marin. So picture a family living on a ranch in rural West Marin, farm workers. Now think about the barriers to the vaccination facing that family. Language, transportation, technology, trust, access to healthcare. So it's about access and trust. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by these barriers, especially when there's a sense of urgency for the protection of the vaccine. And this is where the role of the West Moran Community Response Team became clearest and shows how these problems can be solved. We reached families like this by asking two questions. One was where does this family naturally move and engage in the community right now? That is from a practical standpoint, where do they go in everyday life? There's your access. And then we asked a second question, where and in whom have they already established trust? And there's a big piece of your trust. What's remarkable is how much those lists overlap of normally accessed and well-trusted partners. And this is why in West Marin, most of our partners for both vaccination messaging and hosting vaccination clinics were schools, the food bank, community service organizations, churches, libraries, and the health clinic. By coordinating vaccines and messaging in trusted settings like this across West Marin, vaccine rates overall in that region are above 90% and 98% among Latinx residents. CRTs, teams like that were working in parallel in Marin City, Novato, and San Rafael, finding similar success using locally tailored tactics. All were supported by public health with granular data describing gaps in as much detail as possible. We had set goals together that no community would be more than 10% behind the county average. Public health also supported CRTs to serve as local trusted voices of messaging that were consistent across the whole county through frequent and consistent messaging developed by public health. Our pandemic response has taught us new ways of practicing public health at the local level especially for achieving equity. And we still have a lot to learn. Maybe the next federal dollar spent in the vaccine system won't be in the laboratory, 
but will be on the other end of the system, in the last mile, to better support partnerships between local public health and communities to build more trust and remove barriers to access. I'm proud to share our lessons as a community, striving for health and equity. Thank you for doing your part.